went into the community not to grow our church, but to help the community. And it seemed that our efforts to help them turned out that they would join us and inspire and encourage us. Most people think that what happens in church happens within the four walls, but really the work of the church is what happens outside of the walls. In Jesus' time, he didn't just spend time with the disciples, he went out into all the other countries and spread the word to other people that weren't believers. Many people try to say, oh, the church don't do what the church does. Well, I think it's critical. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how a church can be a church or grow without involving and assisting and helping the community. Uh, it's part of the whole deal. The impact that it's going to have is rather than talk about it, we're doing something about it. Since we as a church try to follow what Jesus did, we should not only stay in our building and worship Him, but try to spread the word to other people out there and to make an impact on other people and not just those in our church. Kirk became interested in doing a mission in Bain and Grantstown because that is the community that has closest proximity to our church building. And it became obvious very early in our ministry that we had no one from our nearby community attending our church. And that bothered me. I can really say the members of the Kirk, they really got involved with the community. They were not only just like supporting us by sending food items, clothing for the children. They really took time out of their busy schedule and they set time and they came in and they actually went in the community. We recognize that they are in need and rather than bring them to us, we made a really focused, prayerful, conscious decision to take our mission to the kids in Bain and Grants Town. And what has come out of that has been simply amazing. I met Pastor Bryn because he came to my home and he introduced himself to me and he spoke to Mr. Roberts about the church and he suggested that we visit one day. So we visited the church one Sunday and I felt at home so I kept asking and some of my friends, they asked if we could go back again and make it our home church. I felt that we had an obligation to reach out to our neighbors, and as we did that, uh, we realized there was great need, uh, spiritually, emotionally, physical needs that we could meet. And they provided clothes, um, food for them, they repaired some of the roofs, the housing situation was deplorable. They provided beds. I mean, the Kirk and the members, they did just everything for the community of being in Grandstown. They helped me with clothing, shoes, for my boy, my grandson, they went all out, even helped paying his, his graduation fee. The whole purpose of the church is to outreach to your neighbors, whoever, you know, and that means to everybody. Um, so from a ministry point of view, it's part and parcel of the purpose of the church. My very first Sunday worshiping at St. Andrew's Kirk, before I was the minister, there was three children in attendance. And I realized that for the church to have any future, it needed to reach young people. When we started out four years ago with Renas, our minister, we had five kids in Sunday school. Now we're bursting at the seams. We got new children by the dozen and had as many as 100 children under the age of 18 one Sunday. We continue to come, and over the period of time, we became more comfortable here, and it felt full of love. The church made us feel like a family. Some of the members from the Kirk Church, they have already adopted children from the community, so they put that special emphasis into them. And those kids, you know, they look forward to coming to worship every Sunday. They're growing in their faith, and that's what's important for us. Not only are we helping them physically, but we're helping them spiritually. I became confirmed last day of October at the church and I was baptized for the first time in my life. 
I am now a part of the choir because I have a passion for singing and I feel like since I have given my life to Jesus Christ, I should use my gifts to serve Him. We never dreamed of this impact and so it was an unexpected benefit that the church would grow because that was never our primary intention. Our primary intention was to be helpful and to show the love of Christ to people in need. Before the Kirk came in, it was terrible. And a lot of kids, thank God for the Kirk, now they're not going to bed hungry. This is an opportunity to assist, and it feels good, I don't care who you are, to assist. And it's not a handout, it's a true assistance program. People like them, we gotta appreciate. We must learn to appreciate. They are very instrumental in helping the kids in this community. And they're not all about the glam, the lights, and the, no. They come in meek and mild, and they get the job done. Pastor Bryn has really done a lot with me and my following of Christ. He's done a tremendous job with me, and he contributed to who I am today. We see God working through us in ways we never imagined and we can only give Him all the glory and honor and praise because some good stuff is coming out of the curb. It's coming from within the four walls and going beyond and that gives us immense pride and immense pleasure.